Good morning. I'm trying to be a little quiet because it is early in the morning on a Sunday and the wife is sleeping, so I guess we'll get right to it. I decided to do a quick and easy video on the new Android One UI 10. So I'll go over a couple of features that I really like. So let's get into the video. We won't waste any more time right after this. Good morning, everybody. Glad you guys could stop by on a cold, cold Sunday morning. We're going to go ahead and go over a few of these updates that Android 10 has presented us with. And the first one I'd like to talk about that nobody seems to be mentioning, I have this nice green color that I wasn't able to use before. And I'll show you exactly how to find that. You go ahead and open your phone, drag down, go to your settings, go to lock screen, click on clock style, and you have always on display and you have your lock screen you click the lock screen and now you have your type how you like to have it displayed and then there's the color button and now you will notice they have a rainbow bubble which is really nice you click on that and you're presented with a nice color palette that you can move the box all the way around to find out what you like like say you want red you hit done and voila turn the phone back off lock screen it's in red so very cool it's great that they're giving you an option for a nice color of your choice so let's talk about what the big hype is on this new update and everybody's talking about it it's the full screen gestures and what i mean by that is i've been using these back button home screen and last apps used i will show you how to find that drop it down go into your settings scroll down to navigation bar and this is the one i'm using right now to show you guys but now they have full screen gestures it'll open up more options this is the way it used to look swipe from bottom and they had each line under it which is really confusing to me because i don't understand what's the difference of having the buttons on there or these little lines they're all doing the same exact thing it's cluttering up your phone and they've really modified this beautifully and let me show you how so we go ahead and go back and now we are displayed with a little bar so when you go and hit youtube and you want to go back you drag it up and it pulls it back if you want to go to the next page as you're looking through things and you want to go back you just hit the back button Either way, doesn't matter, it'll take you back and forth. To bring up your last apps used now is you hold, drag up, and it pulls them up, and then you can go through them here, you can get rid of them as they go. And I notice with the bar too, if you go left, it'll go through your last apps used, which is really convenient. But I will say this, if you go back into display, navigation bar, and gesture hits, if you turn that off, now it has removed the bar, which is nice because it cleans it up, but you are unable to go back from your last app shoes. All it will do is slide to your next window. That's it. So just keep that in mind. If you want that feature, you're going to have to leave it on. Then now you're able to go through your last apps again. So that's just a feature that they've added on to the bar being on there. Another awesome feature is these corners. You can pull up and get Google Assistant. Okay, Google, go to YouTube. Opening YouTube. And there you have it, really nice feature. So going into the more options, I wanted to address this button right here that says allow back gesture on keyboard. What that means exactly is if you turn it off, let's text my good buddy Rick. So when you're in a text and you wanna go back, you start putting letters in. If you're used to going back on your gestures down at the bottom, that's gonna become a real pain for you. So what you can do to get rid of that, more options, and turn that on. So now when you're in a text and you go back, it'll let you go back. Click on it, and now you can go back without hitting any buttons. So very good to have. 
Now, they also changed how you move your gestures for one-handed mode, and I can show you that. You come down, you hit settings, you go into advanced features, and then you go into one-handed mode. Swipe down in the center of the button edge of the screen. So let me show you that. So I'll say we have it in handheld. Swipe down. You're able to use your phone one-handed mode, which works really nice. I like it. And then you can go ahead and set it to the other side if you're left-handed, right-handed, or whatever is comfortable for you. And you can also tap it on the corner and make it bigger if you'd like or smaller. And then you can tap anywhere around the screen and it'll go right back into full screen mode. So another nice feature that they did was the edge screen. Let me show you. Go into settings. Go to display. Come down here to edge screen. Edge lighting. Lighting styles. Click on that. But they've added a few extras like hearts. And fireworks is pretty neat. So and then also you can go into color where you can hit the rainbow bubble and again you're presented with the color palette so you can change your edge lighting to whatever color you prefer another nice feature that they've added is on the camera and you have down here where you go to photo video slow motion is what i have put there but they also have a button named more it's almost like a little filing cabinet to put some of these apps that you're not using all the time in a separate folder so it's not cluttering down here let's say if i want to add instagram into my column drag it down there and voila you hit save and boom now I have photo video slow motion and Instagram but if you don't want it in there you click on this edit tool you find Instagram drag it up and now you have it in more hit save and now it's not in the way so they just cleaned it up a little bit made it a lot easier for you to choose what you want to pick in your little column down below so the next feature a lot of people are talking about is the device care so now you're presented with a lot better interface. You have your battery, you can go ahead and click on battery. It'll tell you how many hours you have left. And also what they've added, which is really sweet, is the wireless power share. And what that means is the phone is capable of charging your gear watch or the Galaxy Buds or a wireless phone. And the nice part now is you're able to change the percentage of how much you want your phone to charge out. So it's defaulted at 30%, but say you just want to do 50%, you hit OK. So now when you put the watch or the buds or a phone on it, it's only going to charge up to 50% and then it's going to stop, which is good because it'll save power usage so you don't have a fully charged watch and nothing left on the phone. It's very nice to have that option. So yeah, so far so good with the Android 10. It's working very well for me. Seems very whippy, snappy. I mean, the phone itself is great. So we'll go ahead and give it a two thumbs up. So there you have it, short and sweet and to the point. Don't hesitate to drop me a comment down below and let me know what you found on the new Android 10. So this is gonna end the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell icon to notify you in every video I post. Like and share the video as you know it helps my channel grow. And you guys know, I will see you in the next video. Hello.